Good morning, guys. It's your girl, Phoenix Novell, and it is the week of 9-24-2023. I'm already, like, <laughs> dropping cards. I'm trying to get into it, you know, because I am learning how to be a bit more, you know, bam, 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 and concise and try to try to get you guys your messages, you know, and not have too much commentary all the time. But sometimes when the spirit moves me... <laughs> I hope that you guys had a great week last week. I hope that you guys have been positive and you're seeing some improvement in your life. You're noticing areas that you need to, you know, um, strengthen areas that you could use improving. And I hope that my pocket deck is, is, has been useful. I have not been um, pulling cards for a long time, but hopefully those of you who, you know, do tune in, you know, on a semi-regular or regular basis, I hope that you guys have found some usefulness for it. Um, pocket, once again, pocket stands for painting on conscious karma contained textile. And I created this deck to help people reclaim their power that they might have lost, that they might have forgot about, that they might suppress, that they might not have access to. All right. Just a reminder, guys, we are all powerful beings. We can choose how anything affects us by deciding how we process the information. Okay. All righty. So going to shuffle just a little bit more. How has my week been? I'm trying to think. I've gotten more sleep. Definitely got more sleep. Been back on my A game when it comes to making sure that I eat salads more than anything else throughout the week. You know, get that, get, and my smoothies and just remembering that, you know, I am nature. Nature is me. And so if I don't eat foods that are still living, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing my body any justice, you know? And it's so easy, you know, because fast food is fast food. It tastes good and it's seasoned to perfection to make you feel like it's really, really, you know, uh, healthy, but it's not, you know? So maybe that's something that we can try to work on, you know, something we can focus on this week. The amount of water that we're consuming, the amount of, you know, whole foods we're actually consuming. And, um, you know... Share, share with your friends and family before things get crazy. Because I really do believe that mostly everything starts with healthy living. All right, and it means healthy thought processes, healthy diets, healthy attitudes, healthy mindset, healthy habits, guys. Okay, so let's try to be a little bit more healthy. All right, each one, each one. My favorite part is shuffling. <laughs> I'm a shuffle whore. Shuffle freak. All right, this is over time. Yeah, and I created this deck. The artwork is the only thing that's not mine. The artwork is a friend of mine. Her name is Lee. It's an acrylic pour. She never named her paintings, you know, but I'm so obsessed with this that I was like, I ha- you have to let me. She was like, I don't give a damn. I was like, yes, I need it. I need it. And she said, yeah, so it is blessing my very first Oracle deck, and I actually named it. One second, guys. As y'all know, I am at work, <laughs> and I'm in security, so sometimes uh, I actually got to do work. But, um, yes, let me get back to it. Yes, I named this The Abyss, all right, <laughs> because it's just, you know, it's a void. A dark and yawning chasm of the deep. All right, let me cut the cards. And then I pull y'all Oracle card for the week, guys. And hopefully, like I said, it's very helpful and useful. You know. All righty, this is the card. You know, I pull the cards. I'm saying that because I just saw the first line. This card says... Eat like every ingredient you ingest matters. Treat each person like their feelings matter. Think of each thought you have like a seed that will undoubtedly grow and bear fruit identical to itself. I just had to smile because, again, I was talking about my diet. And the first line of this card is, eat like every ingredient you ingest matters. So, yes, guys. You are what you eat, and that is in a metaphorical way, it's in a physical way, it's in a spiritual way. 
the things that we consume on a regular basis, the things that we put in our body, the things that we choose to think about over and over and over again, it becomes a part of our very essence. You know, in another way, our textile becomes a part of our spiritual, physical, mental, emotional clothing, you know, and sometimes we don't know how things will affect us. And this is one of the reasons why, you know, I don't like to take chances. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to put myself in a position to not know which way to go and have to rely on another institution or other people to keep myself out of harm's way and healthy. Pray that they care enough about me to make sure that I'm healthy. I like to do what I can to mitigate my losses. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to damage control. As soon as I notice something is off, the way I'm thinking, the way I'm feeling, you know, my body, my heart, my mind, my, my, you know, whatever, I go into this mode of, okay, process of elimination. Could it be my diet? Could it be the people who I'm surrounded by? Could it be my environment? Could it be trauma from the past? I start to look at ways in which I can take action. I can be proactive and figure out, okay, look, this isn't working for me, or this isn't the way I like to feel, or this isn't productive, or I don't like the way I'm acting. Being self-aware monitoring yourself, watching how you think, watching the way you act and the way you treat people, and even listening to how others perceived you as well. These are great indicators of where you're at. And so many of us, we're not fully present, you know, for whatever reason. We have so many responsibilities. Life is lifing, you know what I'm saying? We have kids, we have jobs we have we're just trying to find a moment to just to you know enjoy life that we are not in the body enough until something is wrong and then we're forced to sit the hell down and process but by that time usually we're just looking for a quick pill to fix the situation so that we can get back up there and go and that doesn't always work out for a lot of us so in the very little things you know what i'm saying and in, in, in that snack in that snack bag that you keep in your office desk. Look and see what you're consuming on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? Those friendships that you have. Look and see what that really, what the ingredients consist of. Are you guys always gossiping about somebody else? Are you always talking smack about somebody else? Are you always negatively impacting each other? Do you walk away feeling drained after you interact with a partner? After you interact with your boss, after you come home from work, is there anything in life that invigorates you, that makes you feel full, that actually makes you feel healthy, that makes you feel alive? Because that's where your attention needs to be. That's what you need more of. Because that's life-giving. That's why I say when you eat whole foods, you're healing the body. And I, I never like to tell somebody to do something and just follow me blindly. I always encourage people to be proactive. I always encourage people. This is why this, this pocket deck is called the pocket deck, painting on conscious karmic and tangled textile. That means that you have a, you are, we are all a blank canvas in this experience, not to the world. In this experience of me being identified as Phoenix Novell and this and this and me being the daughter of this person, that is the blank canvas I'm talking about. But when I say unconscious mean living, karmic means that we are attached to other, you know, the past or other parts of other lifetimes, other things that we don't know, the other karmic, okay? Karmic just means before okay so there's that space of karma that we are walking through we don't always know where we just came from but there's something there because we're not doing this by ourselves so we all know that because you can want something so bad but you can't make it happen all the time right so you know that you're not driving this vehicle 100% by yourself textile is cloth it's clothing it's like you know it's, it's it's material that you have the ability to paint upon and so it's your job to really understand the essence of the material that you're using, like what are you, what are you doing? What are you painting? What is the material that you're painting on? How does it make you feel? How do you feel? What color are you painting the world as you move through this thing? How are you leaving things? How are you affecting people? How are you affecting yourself? What's the result? You know, and you'll know that by paying attention, by temperature checking, by looking at yourself, by examining, 
by seeing where you are. That's how you know what you're doing to yourself. How do you feel? I feel like crap. Why? I don't know. Yeah, think about it. Now do the work. Think about it. What are you made of? What food are you made of? What relationships are you made of? What trauma is left unchecked? What beautiful things are you harboring? What do you like? And if what you like is not something that you give enough, en- enough energy to or more energy than anything else to, then you're, you're, you're playing this game all wrong. All right? So this week's assignment, you know, I want to say this week's focus needs to be on what you are constantly and on a regular basis giving your energy and attention to what are you allowing to energize you. Some people have crazy amounts of sugar addictions. They don't realize that sugar is in every single thing that they consume. Some form of sweetener. Understand what that sweetener does to the body, what the effect on the body is. All right. Be conscious about how much water you're consuming versus soda versus, you know, um, uh, whatever versus alcohol. Okay. How many cigarettes are you drinking? How much smoking are you? Do? How many cigarettes are you? Are you smoking? What are you doing on a regular basis to your body? How often are you thinking negative thoughts? How often do you need to be around negative people who have nothing positive to say about the world? No goals. Not that you have to have goals, but they're just not going anywhere. And they're okay with it. See how that's working out with them for them and see how it's affecting you. When you spend time with them versus you being around people who actually have things to be proud of and happy for and positive about. Temperature check, what you're eating, how you're feeling, what your daily habits are, how you're affecting people around you, what the relations are that you nurture on a regular basis. How do you wake up in the morning? How's the health and oneness of your body, your teeth, your heart, your bones? your hair, your skin, like all of these things, it's time to really look at yourself and figure out what's going on. Eat like every ingredient you ingest matters, because it does. Whether you see it today or tomorrow, everything you consume plays a part, cause and effect. Treat each person like their feelings matter. Understand that everything that you say out of your mouth, every action that you take towards somebody, they have the ability to perceive it however they will. So your intention you, gotta be, you need to be aware of what you're putting out. Think of each thought you have like a seed that will undoubtedly grow and bear fruit identical to itself. So be deliberate. Be a deliberate creator, guys. This week, be aware. Be fully aware of the actions, the causes, and the effect of the things that you do. Be a deliberate creator. All right, guys, if you don't currently own the pocket deck, you can purchase it exclusively on my website at www.phoenixnobel.com. As soon as you go on the website, you can scroll down just a little bit and you will see the abyss. <laughs> you can just click on it where it says click on it, click here, and then you'll get more information about the cards, the deck, and, you know, what you have to do to purchase it, okay? They're, they're available internationally, nationally everywhere right now, okay? They're available for everybody, no exclusions. All right, guys, thanks again. Have a wonderful week, as always, and I will check in with you next Sunday. Peace, love, and happiness.